Looking live at San Francisco this evening, where people throughout the city celebrating the reopening. KPIX 5 reporter Wilson Walker live in San Francisco with the reactions from business owners. Wilson? So this is a new one. Ken, we are in the fabulous Finnegan's Wake. This is one of the establishments that we were following during the course of the pandemic when businesses like this did not know how they were going to make it from there to here or whether they would make it at all. This was a day for counting blessings and sharing gratitude. It's kind of um, unbelievable that it's actually the day is finally here. And I have a feeling a lot of people feel that way. Anybody that's been in this industry, for sure. Having crossed a sea of uncertainty, the Zazi staff opened at 100% capacity today and they took off their masks. We did. Um, all our staff is vaccinated. So to us, we're protected. I mean, I've made copies of everybody's vaccination cards. So we have those on file for anybody that's worried about it. We've been closed since uh, March 15, 2020, nonstop. We haven't opened a single day. The 500 Club will reopen this evening for the first time in 457 days. Owner Ali Razavi says the Mission Institution will endure. It has been a rough, rough ride, but we've we've managed to pull it through. A lot of personal loans, a lot of, a lot of help from the neighborhood. But uh, most of my staff is coming back. It's exciting. It's exciting, man. Just being able to be in here again. It's a temple in here for us. Today is a, it's a tremendous day. It's a, it's a huge day. Uh, we've all been waiting for this for well over a year. In the Castro, Maurice Darwish says this day would not have come without a lot of help. The building of the of the of the parklet. And without uh, help from the PPP loans that we got from the government, we, we would not have survived. And for every spot that did survive, there was something else that made it happen. The love and support from customers who also refused to give up on their friends and neighbors. Great day for the Zam Zam because we've weathered the storm with a lot of help from a lot of people, and I just appreciate all of that. Exactly. That, that was without this, uh, this base of support that we had from our, uh, from our uh, very long-term customers, it would have been very difficult to do, and I thank him uh, for staying, <coughs> staying with us. You can hear it in his voice there. You think about how intimate that relationship can be between a business and its customers. Think about how that has changed for so many people after the last 15 months. I would also add, we did this in San Francisco today. I covered struggling businesses over the last 15 months from Petaluma to Willow Glen to Martinez. If you were one of the businesses that we came to and, and asked you about how you were going to get through all this, we were thinking about you today. We hope it's a big sigh of relief for everyone. We are live here in San Francisco. Francisco Wilson Walker, KPIX 5. I'm sure it is.